Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Before I start, like I said earlier on, let me express my heartfelt condolence to many of us who have at one point or the other experienced the demise of a loved one. I can tell you this, that it is really, really very painful. There are people who have lost father, others, mothers, others, both parents, others, you know. And if I'm to ask every one of us to come and hold the mic and say one or two things, many of us may have tear dropping stories tragic memories of things that happened surrounded the death of our loved ones and so on and so forth and um, the goal tonight is not to get us emotional the goal tonight is not to um, create a lot of questions in our mind and create a platform for debate the goal tonight is an attempt to look from the vista of the word of god and draw up keys to be able to guide us and to show us like a compass that there is a pathway to longevity hallelujah praise the lord psalm 91 verse 16 you are my hiding place you always fill my heart with songs of deliverance Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength of the lord i will trust in you i will trust in you so let the weak say i i am strong You always fill your heart with songs of deliverance. Whenever you are afraid, you should trust in Him. That's what He expects. You should trust in Him. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
I want to share a few thoughts. Number one, the first thing I want us to know about let's start from Jeremiah 29. Let's start from there. Jeremiah 29. Let's be fast. There are lots of scriptures we're going to look at because I want to establish a few things. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Are we there? Okay. One to read, everyone is projected. This is the part that I want us to focus on tonight. To give you a what? An expected end. A predictable end. Please listen to me. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. These thoughts that I think towards you, they are thoughts of good. The Bible says, finally, brethren, Philippians chapter 4 verse 8, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are noble, if there be any good report, if there be any virtue and, and any praise, he said, think on these things. And so God is saying, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. He said they are thoughts of good and not of evil. This is God speaking. And those thoughts are particularly designed to give you an expected end. A predictable end. Not an unexpected end. Not an unpredictable end. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The thoughts that I think towards you are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. Hallelujah. Point number one. The first point I want us to get tonight is that God's desire and plan for us is to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. God's desire and God's plan for us, according to scripture, is to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Psalm 91 verse 16, please, very quickly. Write down that point and then we'll look at a few scriptures. God's desire and plan is for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Psalm 91 verse 16, please. Everyone read. One, two, read. One more time. This is the Bible. This is the truth of God's word. It says, for with long life will I give him did he say, will I give him? That means there is a satisfaction that comes when a man enjoys longevity. Are you getting blessed? It says, for with long life will I satisfy him and in it I will show him my salvation. Number two, Exodus chapter 23 verse 26. Please media, you'll be really fast. You'll help us. There are lots of scriptures to look at. And all of them are important. We're establishing the first point tonight. That it is God's desire and plan for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Exodus 23 verse 26. 23, 26. Hallelujah. Everyone read. The number of thy days I will fulfill. The number of thy days. There is an appointment with long life. There is an appointment from the throne. From eternity before you came. And it says the number of your days I will fulfill it. So that's the first point I want us to establish tonight. And listen people I want you to realize that um, I'm a human being. I understand that 
many of us are receiving this point with heavy hearts because you are comparing this truth of God's word versus the reality that for some of us have happened in recent times and for all of us as a house having to mourn the transition of our dear one but the Bible says forever O Lord thy word is settled a believer is not just one who has given his heart to the Lord a believer is one who has submitted to the authority of God's word as the final say regardless of your experience this is what makes you a believer is you are not a believer just because you were born again you are a believer because you have come to a point where you have chosen willfully to allow the word of God take precedence and become the final authority over your life say amen do you believe what I'm teaching you you must realize that you are not just a believer because you got born again and you are going to heaven you are a believer like a wife who submits to her husband even if she does not like the way he's behaving even if she does not understand her covenant of marriage her covenant of being with him will force her to submit sometimes he may beat her he may be a foolish man but she has chosen as a submissive wife that i will submit to his authority and i will bear his son name that's what it means to be a believer to be a believer is not to love god when you can explain things to be a believer is that in the midst of your joy in the midst of your tears in the midst of your clarity in the midst of confusion regardless of what happens in your life the word of god stands irrefutable and unarguable in your life is god speaking to us are we growing as believers this is a very mature teaching tonight if you do not come to a point where you exalt the word of God above your life, you will backslide and you will run away from God. That's why we have many atheists today. Many of them were church children. Many of them were folks in Baptist and Presbyterian churches. But their lives were surrounded by so much confusion. And because they think that God has to be boxed to the limitation of their finite minds, after a prolonged period of disappointment that disappointment builds a mentality and a stronghold that permits the operation of demon spirits and their conclusion is that god is a liar and their conclusion is that the bible is not true their conclusion is something is wrong there is a deceit somewhere but the bible says the lord is gracious and compassionate He's slow to anger rich in love from everlasting to everlasting he says thou art God hallelujah it is God's desire for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest do you believe that point number two make sure you're writing point number two the Bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time the Bible did not hide it from us. It didn't leave it as a secret. It's clearly stated in the Bible that it is possible that although this is the desire, it is absolutely possible, supported by scripture, that a man can die before his time. Open bracket and write this. Especially if we do not diligently engage the keys that guarantee long life open bracket and write this especially if we do not diligently engage the keys that guarantee long life this is a very hard teaching for many of us tonight but it will test your love for God the Bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time Ecclesiastes seven seventeen. quickly Ecclesiastes 7 17 and Psalm 55 verse 23 we'll look at those Ecclesiastes 7 17 the Bible also teaches us under this point that the life of a man can be added and can be subtracted not only can the life be cut short the Bible shows us that someone's life can be added to and someone's life can be subtracted 
717 Ecclesiastes. Hallelujah. Okay, let's just let's just turn while they're trying to help her. Okay. Hallelujah. Go ahead and read everyone. One to read. Why should thou die before your time? We are still going to revisit this verse. It says, Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why should thou what? Die. It's a question. It's just the, the B part I want us to focus on. Why? It's a question. That means it is a possibility that although these are the provisions, the same way God designed for everyone to be prosperous the bible says that um how did he put it now it says the proceed of the earth is for the profit in of all but there are people today who love god and they are still poor is that true there are people today who love god and cannot afford to feed their children but it does not stop the fact that god is a loving god and he has shown a formula for prosperity why should thou die before your time so the bible shows us that it is a possibility that a man can die before his time psalm 55 verse 23 55 verse 23 are we there all right go ahead and read everyone those outside, we apologize. Looks like they are not seeing the projection, but just follow us very carefully. One to read. Shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out what? Half their days. They will not even live up to half their days. Now forget that he's talking about wicked people. I'm just showing you that there is a possibility that life can be added, can be cut short, can be multiplied, can be divided, can be subtracted. This is the infallible word of God. Hallelujah. So although God's desire and plan is for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest, the Bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time. Point number three. This is a hard one now. Receive grace to receive it. Ready? The Bible re reveals that God is never behind us dying before our time. Write it down. The Bible reveals that God is never behind us dying before our time. Isaiah 65 verse 20. Hallelujah, you have won the victory. Hallelujah, you have won it all for me. Death could not hold. Sasa 
Sasa kibu cho Yeah Sasa kibu chi Sasa kibu cho The Bible reveals painfully but truly that God is never behind us dying before our time. 65 verse 20 of Isaiah. Go ahead and read. One to read. Nor an old man that had not what? Go ahead and read. This is the prophet speaking the mind of God to the people of God. He says, there shall be no more infant of days, nor an old man that had not sealed his days. For a child shall die a hundred years old. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says, but as many as believed him, he gave them power to become. As many as believed him, he gave them power to become. Hallelujah. One more scripture. Ezekiel 18 verse 32. Ezekiel Shibakata Paroto Suprati Go ahead and read. One to read. Stop. For what? One more time. One more time. This is God speaking. One more time. Read on. Do you believe this? Please, listen, 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 listen. I'm a human being. Are you getting me? I understand the reality. I understand the pain. I, I understand the gravity. Are you getting me? Of, of um, you will only need to be a leader to understand what it means to manage tragic issues in families, and this is consistent. I have been to mortuaries, I have prayed for people. We have lost loved ones in far and near, and all kinds of things have happened. But I choose to be a believer. I choose to be a believer. my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name it says for I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth. Say it who? Say it prophet Ezekiel. Say it the Lord God. Wherefore as a result of the above, turn yourselves and leave ye. Next point. This is a very serious one and I want us to pay attention to it. Ready? Satan, comma, the thief is identified from scripture as the one who steals, kills, and destroys. John 10, 10, please. Satan, the thief, is identified from scripture as the one who steals, kills, and destroys. Write this before we look at the scripture in continuation. He has strategies through which he achieves this mission. 
Satan the thief is identified from scripture as the one who steals, kills and destroys. He has strategies through which he achieves this mission. Continue writing. Topmost among the strategies are sicknesses, suicides, accidents. Write it down. Topmost among these strategies are sicknesses. You can write afflictions too. Suicide. Accidents. These are his most common strategy of attempting to cut short lives. These are his most common strategies. 95% 95% of the transitions and the demise of human beings from the earth is as a result of sicknesses and infirmities suicides accidents of all sorts fire all kinds of things destruction john chapter 10 verse 10 the thief cometh not meaning you never see him in a place until there is need for this mission the thief cometh not meaning he has no business coming to a place except to do this to steal and to kill and to destroy but jesus the son of the living god said i am come that ye may have life and that they may have it more abundantly the thief satan there are many names that he's given in the bible he's given the serpent he's given the dragon he's given the thief he's called the accuser of the brethren he's called the adversary He's called the destroyer. And Satan has a strategy. Please let me have your attention now. Satan has a strategy. There is a series by the grace of God on angels that we are going to be teaching subsequently. And under that series of angels, I'm going to be teaching us on the origin of angels and we are going to examine this man or this entity called satan praise the lord i want us to look very carefully in that series there are a few things about satan we cannot discuss it today but just a teaser do you know now many of you are going to be surprised but do you know that of all wicked spirits, Satan is not the most dangerous? There are spirits today who are bound in everlasting chain. They were deliberately not released because the Bible says if they are released, even the elect will not stand. The question is, at what point were they bound and what did they do? Hallelujah. When you begin to read, don't turn there, the book of Ezekiel 28. The Bible begins to speak of an ancient king. We don't have all that time to talk about the formation and the structure of angels. Look up. Many of us think and many of us have been taught that angels were created angels no no the word angel comes from the greek word angelio and it means a messenger let me tell you a few things look up please when ezekiel the prophet was shown this guy called lucifer the bible begins to talk with him in a similitude of a mortal man that was a king over nations and over kingdoms is that true is, are, you, are you a believer? You believe the Bible? Is that true? It raises up a lamentation against a king that ruled over a place called Tyre and says, Thou which subdued nations talked about the making of Satan 
and then he said how that he ruled nations and territories inhabitants in the earth present at that time watch this let me just give you a quick analogy everyone look up this is an academic environment so let me attempt to communicate a few things i think it's important we get this look look at this imagine for instance that there was a student when our daddy prof was a student let's assume right that there was a notorious student at that point during the time of our daddy when he was in school are you getting that point and that notorious criminal had access to the senate please follow me a notorious criminal are you getting what i'm saying and because of that something happened at that time watch this that notorious criminal was banished as a student because of a rebellion that he wanted to have against the university and the vice chancellor are you getting me now because probably he was given the privilege of being an SUG president and so he had some level of dominance over the students are you following what I'm saying now on the strength of that he led a rebellion as at the time he did that daddy was a student are you getting what I'm saying now he is long graduated but that notorious capon is still lingering around ABU are you getting what I'm saying now after so many decades a new set comes into that same abu are you getting my point and then you hear that people there is one notorious criminal that has been here this guy has been here for a long time are you getting what i'm saying he's an illegal occupant he's not a student but he has refused to leave that territory watch out for him he has an advantage of experience because he has watched many sets of students u61 u62 u60 whatever till now you are you or something and they are giving you an advice that you are not the first occupant of abu are you hearing what i'm saying that abu that's why when you measure it you find out that you are young but they tell you abu is 50 years whereas you are just four years are, are you getting my analogy is it making sense to you when he was the student he was not the most notorious student he was just the one that led a rebellion and it became history there are other notorious students cultists that were driven away are you getting what i'm saying but it so happens that this very notorious student is determined to frustrate the council and the agenda of the university now watch this let me tell you something I don't know if this is the right platform to begin to teach us but we'll have that series by the grace of God did you know that angels were once mortal beings are you getting what I'm saying now there was a dispensation that they reigned upon the earth their dispensation ended and the ones who are with Christ have been sent as messengers to help our dispensation. Just like, imagine that Jesus comes now. I hope you know when Jesus comes, our dispensation is ended. But the program of God still proceeds. We do not yet know for sure what are the other agendas. But we know the Bible tells us there is, a, there is an age to come. And there is a power that is left for that age to come and by reason of alignment we can taste of that power what age we do not know the word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations so I guarantee you we will be the last of mankind as we know in this level of civilization but not the last as far as creation as far as, as advancement as far as habitation and the humanoid species as we know who knows maybe in another dispensation we will be sent to other planets and galaxies according to the wisdom of God if allowed and we will be able to help the inhabitants to live out the purposes of God in that dispensation they will call us angels ah. 
I will see of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. Now watch this. When we get to heaven, there will not, the Bible does not record. The concept of marriage does not exist again in heaven. Is that true? So if in the earth, in my earth life, for instance, this was my wife, these were our children. When we get to heaven, we all become brothers and sisters. Are you getting what I'm saying? We all become brothers and sisters. I can appear in another dispensation to help the inhabitants. And they can look at me and say, wow, who is this strange being? But they do not know that there was a dispensation that you walk with human life. It is this aberration that was, that was cornered that brought what people call the mystery of reincarnation. This is what some of the fallen angels taught people and taught our forefathers and said, forget the people you are seeing now, they have been before. Listen, the dispensation before our own, there was a tremendous degree of power that was given to them. There was nothing called invisible and visible. That concept did not exist. Are you getting my point? The dispensations before us, you could access the heavens and access the earth. Now, it so happened that our dispensation disobeyed right from the beginning. So, Adam did not stay long for us to see the possibilities that were put in our dispensation. We never had the opportunity to see what we could do. For instance, there was no dispensation that recorded reproduction. They recorded rulership and they recorded who knows if Adam did not fall and Eve would have had the opportunity because he would still would have given birth. You understand? He would have given birth in his perfected state. We would have seen the son of Adam. A womb that has not been corrupted by the fallen nature. That's why in all of the dispensations it's only our dispensation that brought Jesus the son of the living God to come and die. Please, let's continue. That's for another time. I'm just trying to show you that the one you call Satan, Lucifer, he was once a king in a dispensation. Hmm. The king of Tyre that ruled upon nations. That's the reason why those spirits still walk upon kings today and try to make them build what used to be. Are you getting me now? Those spirits together with Satan were the brains behind the building of the Tower of Babel. They were attempting to bring back a dispensation to create a rebellion that once was. That was why Solomon in his wisdom said there is nothing on earth that is happening the first time. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Geography today, geography, they have found castles thousands of meters under the earth. They have found ancient castles. Did you know that there was a dispensation where, where we are standing now was water, not land? The same way that place, where is the Mount of Ararat, where the, the Ark of Noah rested, where is it in the earth today? We know Everest to be the highest. Where is Mount Ararat? Where are the golds? Where is the temple of Solomon that was built with pure gold? You mean everything disappeared that we cannot even find? dust of gold let me tell you most of them are still intact they are buried in the sea because the judgment that led the word darkness covering the earth 
is the Hebrew word tohu wa bohu. It's the word that connotes darkness and confusion. Right in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That beginning we do not know. But then we know that something happened. And then the earth was dark and void. Formless. It was the judgment. Are you getting me? The water had to be judged and then it also had to cool the earth. That was why there was a division. Two thirds of the earth is covered with water. And when you read revelations, when one of the trumpets is blown, one of the things that will, be happen, will happen to the earth is that there will be certain kinds of plagues and judgments. I'm saying all of this to let you know that Satan has a history. The strength of Satan is not his might because he's not the strongest of spirits. The strength of Satan is an advantage of a spiritual strategy backed up by an ancient wisdom of deceit. Are we blessed? Very quickly. Keys to long life. The first thing I want you to know about the keys to long life is you do not choose one and leave the rest. They all complement themselves. You don't choose one key and then allow the rest to go. No. There are keys. There are keys. Number one, the first key to long life that the Bible reveals is speaking choosing releasing words of life psalm 34 verse 12 to 14 and then we'll look at proverbs 18 verse 21 psalms 34 12 to 14 and then proverbs 18 verse 1 the first key to long life is to speak it the first key to long life is to choose it the first key to long life is to release it Hallelujah. Ready? Look up. Let's read Psalm 34 verse 12. One to read. What man is he that desireth what? Life. And loveth what? Many days that he may see good. Read on. Keep what? There is a relationship. Stop. Between your tongue, its communication and your life. The Bible says, who is he that desire long life? It says, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from what? Speaking guile. 14. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The emphasis is 12 and 13. Who is he, Koinonia, that desires long life? I don't die, yo. The Bible says, who is he that desires long life? Don't just laugh about what I'm saying. Because whether you think you are joking or not, the Bible says, and let it not be said before an angel, I made a mistake. Who is he that wants to activate longevity? It says, keep the... Please go to verse 13. 13, 13, 13. It says, keep thy tongue from what? And your lips keep your tongue I know many of you have said Kai people are begged they are exaggerating why do you want to speak please be real you be real in the earth way you will die like a chicken your reality must be the word it says I am the way I am reality I am absolute reality hallelujah Proverbs 18 21 can we read proverbs 18 verse 21 one to read what will they eat the fruit of what no 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 it's in your bible it says they that love it shall do what death and life this is Solomon. 
a man who received wisdom from God. He's teaching us from the abundance of the mysteries that he was granted access to. And he said, in my exploration of spiritual mysteries, I found something. Death and life are left in the power of the tongue. They that love it shall eat the fruit there. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? The Bible says, I set before you this day blessing and cursing. Is that true? Death and life. Here's my suggestion. I can't force you, but this is my suggestion. Choose life that you may live, not wish it. Choose life. Koinonia, choose life that you may live. Are you still a believer? Choose life that you may live. Choose life. I set before you blessing and cursing. I set before you death and life. But this is my advice for you. Choose life. I speak life. Oh my brother. I speak life and another thing you will prevail I speak life don't give up the fight for your life hallelujah everybody say after me I choose life outside can you shout it i choose life those standing at the back the back there can you say i choose life don't let the devil tell you i hope you know what you're saying say it i choose life he said let the redeemed of the lord say so let the redeemed of the lord say so conquer fear i choose life when you speak you release it this is a voice activated planet nothing happens until sound is released i choose life send it to the atmosphere i choose life send it ahead of your tomorrow i choose life the will of man cannot be compromised hallelujah listen jesus said behold i jesus the king of kings the creator of the ends of the earth I stand at the door of your heart and I keep knocking. I cannot enter until your will permits me. As mighty as Jesus is, he respects the will of man. How much more Satan? Jesus, the son of the living God, the resurrected Christ, the eternal one, stands at the door of a man's heart and keeps knocking. For 60 years, if that man refuses, he goes to hell. But he was knocking. So what do you think makes you think that Satan just steps into your heart? It's called deception. This is the foundation of witchcraft. It paints a picture that is not real. It makes you to buy into it and you authorize him to wreak havoc in your life. Say it again, I choose life. Say it again, I choose life. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Key number two. Can you pray in tongues for one minute? Say, Lord, let this revelation just sink into me. Lord, let this revelation just sink into me. If the devil brings the memories of your past loved ones, tell him, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I know they are in heaven. But right now I'm making my choice and my decision. Don't let the devil just bring any memory to put guilt. And say, did they speak like that? Say, Satan, you are a liar. The Lord rebuke you. I choose life. Hallelujah. Are you blessed tonight? Write very quickly, everybody. 
key number two to longevity the fear of the lord the fear of the lord biblical key number two to longevity under the word fear write reverence reverence the fear open bracket reverence of the lord proverbs chapter 10 verse 27 proverbs 10 27 proverbs 10 27 everyone read one to read the fear of the lord yirat adonai reverence for god respect for him honor for him and his ways and what he represents prolongs days but the years of the wicked shall be shortened the bible says the fear of the lord there are two indexes given in the bible to measure the fear of the lord in a man's life number one obedience to his commands and number two service in the house of god obedience and service are two keys that demonstrate whether or not you fear the lord obedience obedience oh i love him i obey him proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 to 11 i just want to praise you i lift my hands to say i love you you are everything to me and I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name on high. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy is understanding. Verse 11. For by me days shall be what? And the years of thy life shall be increased. And so the Lord spoke to Isaiah. He said, go and tell Hezekiah you will not recover from that sickness you will die and Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and said oh Lord remember how I have walked diligently before you and the Lord sent Isaiah again he said uh -uh, uh -uh. I remember my faithfulness and he went back and said the Lord said I have added for by me Joshua Selman's days shall be multiplied and the years of his life shall be increased. Obedience and service. When we talk to people about obeying the principles of God, many people think that I can live my life the way I want. Longevity, brothers and sisters, hear me. Don't let westernization deceive you. Longevity is tied to your fear of the Lord. Service. There are so many people seated here inside and outside. You're not serving in any unit. You're not contributing in any way to the advancement of the kingdom. I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Amen. That's a scripture there. You will live to declare. You will live to promote. You will live to frontier his kingdom. Let me tell you this. My passion under the apostolic ministry is not just to produce miracles in people's lives. It's to create a sense. My passion is to institutionalize God consciousness in people. To make it an institution. That everything in your life, brothers and sisters, is secondary to the pursuit of his agenda. I don't care whether you have discovered your assignment or not. I can tell you an assignment. Start serving diligently 
in the house of God. Don't you let people fool you to think those who serve in the house of God are just weak people who are desperate for husband. Say, Kai, you serve. Eh? The way you are behaving, don't let anyone cheat you. There are people who live their lives as though you control your life by yourself. Hallelujah. When five minutes without your breath, you are gone. It doesn't matter what your agenda is, it's over. The greatest part of a man's life is that part that is invested in serving God. That's how you cheat death. That's how you cheat the grave. That's how you cheat death. You don't cheat death by being afraid of it. You cheat death by serving God. Victorious in life and victorious in death. Paul says, for, for me to live is Christ. And if I die, it is still gain. There is no loss. Hallelujah. As you are sitting here, the Lord is speaking to you. You are living your life as young as you are. You think you are too busy. There are many of you outside. As you are looking at my face, the Lord Jesus is speaking to you tonight. I'm saying you are the one I'm sending this man of God to talk to. When will you begin to serve God with the active years of your life? Say, I'm not a man of God. I'm a pilot. So what? my life be offered oh God on the altar of sacrifice that I will serve you I told God this is all I do with my life I don't have plan B when I wake up in the morning your kingdom come oh God that's all I do are you getting blessed service is one of your greatest respect that you can do for God I'll serve I'll serve I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll serve, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best with all my life. I'll do my best for you. I'll do my best, I'll do my best. I'll do my best for you. Sing it one more time from your heart. I'll serve, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll serve, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord. It's only a fool that will live his life hustling. I must make it as though you hold the breath of your nostrils in your hands you go to churches and see how many people warm the bench every week and there is no sense of conviction in them to serve God there's no service for the kingdom it's not part of their lives they come and they warm the bench and smile around and you tell them are you serving any believer that is not serving in a church not serving in a group your seed is not going for the advancement of the kingdom you don't deserve to live it says i shall not die but live but live there is a way a man's life can frontier the kingdom god will kill a nation to preserve that man I travel all the time. Don't you think I don't know what I'm saying? Tomorrow we are on our way again to be there. All the time. I've seen all varieties of accidents. I've seen all kinds of things. I've seen all kinds of seeming threatening situations. We have met armed robbers. We were going to um, when we were going to Obomosho, our flight was cancelled. We had to charter a car to take us by road. We left about 4.30 in the morning. Just coming out of Abuja, Abaji, going towards, just entering the route to go towards Kogi. And we saw somebody reversing. They were armed robbers. Brothers and sisters, this gentleman speaking to you, I'm not a fool. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm educated. 
But I want to tell you something. The fear of the Lord can prolong the days of a man. That you spend your life serving God. During the days of our fathers, the popular song is, Lord, here am I. Send me. Right now we are saying, Lord, here am I. Give me. I have come. I finally arrived to collect. See, let me tell you, don't just laugh. If you keep that mentality and it becomes the circumference of your Christian experience, you will be unfruitful in the kingdom. I want to stand before my maker. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. I can only imagine what it would be like Ah, what's the song? You know the song I'm trying to sing, right? Surrounded by your glory What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine That on that day when I stand before him When we are finally done and we have conquered the earth, depopulated the kingdom of hell, and turned the heart of many to righteousness. That through faith, after we have subdued kingdoms and wrought righteousness, we will stand upon the mountain and salute creation and say, Lord, I am ready. And you appear before him to be absent in the body, the apostle says, is to be present with the Lord. And he looks at you and says, Well done, you tried. And they take on that crown. And you see all the Matthias saying, we watched you all the while. While you were in that crusade, we watched you. While you refused to give up as you were casting out those devils. The family in heaven was watching. For some of us, while you were roaming around gossiping. And all that was your passion was, oh God, husband, time is going. God said, we, we were watching you too. I am a life that was changed. Thank you for giving to the Lord. I am so glad you came. We were in your life a few weeks ago. And when we went there, the organizer of the, the campus crusade, when he met me, I saw the way he was saluting me. And I said, I was wondering, what was this for? And he called me and he said, Sir about three years or thereabout when you came into this campus i was just a fresh student when i came in and when you preached i got born again i got filled with the holy spirit and today i'm still standing and doing many things every time people call and say koinonia messages are changing people i say lord thank you i have no business being known they don't need to know me that i may decrease that my face cannot heal anybody my picture cannot bless anybody. There is one mightier than I. He's the one I live and I spend my entire life serving. Please, I speak to you as a servant of God tonight. Think about your life. Think seriously about your life. And the way you are ignoring the things of God as though there is something better. I'm not saying be a pastor. Be an addict enough. When was the last time your money entered the advancement of the gospel? How many souls can stand before God and say it was your giving that brought the men of God to this place? How many of you can say it was your prayer? You were interceding for every man of God, not snoring around and complaining. How many of you have sacrificed your night time for the sake of the kingdom? How many of you have sacrificed your food for the kingdom? The fear of the Lord. Let me tell you, vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. I have stood before kings. I have stood before millionaires. I know what honor sounds. I wouldn't trade you for silver or gold. Impossible. I wouldn't trade you for riches untold. You are, you are my. There is nothing in this life that will attract me enough to stop what I'm doing. No. 
sir. No, sir. No, sir. The psalmist said, better is one day. I'd rather be a doorkeeper. I'm so desperate to serve you. Although I'm a king, I choose to be an usher, a sanctuary keeper, than a celebrity somewhere. These were men who understood God. They understood the ways. There are some of you here, you think you are too big to join the protocol. You are too big to do this. You see all the people sacrificing and you think they are fools. Unfortunately, most preachers have preached service, not as a proof of love for God, but as a way to get things from God. It is true that if they obey and serve him, there are benefits. But brothers and sisters, hear me. Beyond getting things, it is a proof of love. So if your work is to bring this water, you bring it with all sense of honor. Not just like you are worshipping a man. Oh, it's a privilege to serve in the house of God. It's a privilege. If you are to clean the chairs, you are cleaning the chairs and say, Lord, it's a, it's a privilege. It's a privilege. You can do without me. You have chosen to do with me. You are supposed to bake the cake. You are seated and you know you have grace. You say, no, I need to join the welfare department. I must spend my life. I, I need to contribute. You are excellent in graphic. Oh, the media needs me. Service. 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 Whether you are in Zaria or not, find a church. Find a group. Find a fellowship. Find a, a congregation of believers. Many of us are looking for Gio and Mama. That's the only condition you have given God to serve him. Lord, I will serve you if I will be the mama of the ministry. I will serve you if you give me the name of my parish. The name of your parish is nothing. Let it be your passion. Hallelujah. Are we getting blessed? I'm preaching from the depth and the core of my spirit. Because I don't want you to waste your time. Please get back into the mystery of kingdom service. Get back. You spend your time serving a guy because you love him. You go to his house. You wash his clothes. You cook. You iron. And he says, is it not too much? You say, this is the least I can do for you. Is it to express my love? I'm, I'm, I'm not embarrassed. Call me a fool. It's true. Eh? If loving you is a crime, let me be a criminal. Look at what you are saying. Look at what you are saying. Shame on any believer who is saying that. I'm telling you, I say it again. Shame on any believer. That because of mundane things, you can so serve a man and your passion cannot go for God. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. Skapaka prondo sopro silia paharato sufratia. Proverbs chapter 3. My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments verse 2 for length of days obedience length of days and long life together with peace shall they add to thee commandment he that loveth me is he that keeps my commands john 14 21 he that keepeth my commands is he that loveth me and i will love him and my father will love him and we will come and manifest ourselves to him the commands of God. His commandments are not burdensome, brothers and sisters. Let's hurry up. Key number three to long life. Engaging the mystery of the blood. Key number three, let's hurry up. Engaging the mystery of the blood with understanding. engaging the mystery of the blood with understanding there are three ways that the mystery of the blood was used in scripture to bring preservation and deliverance number one in the book of exodus chapter 12 it was used to anoint the doorposts and the lintels so that the angel of death would not come and destroy the people. Hallelujah. Number two, 
Jesus revealed it to us in the communion. The communion. In the New Testament, he began to teach us the mystery of the communion. And then number three, the mystery of what the Bible calls blood sprinkling. That the priest would take a portion and a sample of the blood and sprinkle upon the people and it will mark them. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 24 to 30. We may not have time to read all, but let's see how far we can go. Help us, media. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 24 to 30. Paul is teaching the church in Corinth the mystery of the blood with respect to communion. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Next verse. He says, after the same manner he took the cup. Here and there, 25, 26. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye show the Lord's death till he comes. 27. Wherefore, whosoever, now listen, shall eat this bread and drink this cup unworthily. Open your eyes, I want to show you a mystery. Unworthily. He says, this sacrament, there are two sacraments that Jesus left to the church. One is the sacrament of the communion. The second is the sacrament of baptism. Water baptism. Two of them are still valid. They are important today. He says, whosoever shall take up the cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of what? The body and the blood of the Lord. Here comes the mystery. 28. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. 29. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily does what? He can eat and drink unto damnation because he did not discern that the body and bread of Jesus Christ relieves life. And because he's, he's eating it unworthily, he will get the opposite of it. Next verse, 30. Read please. One, two, read. Stop. For what cause? For the cause of partaking in the communion without discernment. For this cause, how many people? How many? How many people do you know have died today that they told you it was a communion that killed them? Have you ever had any death? And they told you that, ah, this death, it was communion that killed the man. Have, is it in your Bible? For this cause, did he say few? Many, many are weak. For this cause, the cause of not discerning the Lord's body, the cause of not respecting it. For this cause of not giving it the honor, it says many are weak. You believe the Bible, right? Many are what? Sick. And many sleep. Wow. For this cause, trivializing the body of Christ, not discerning the power it can release. Not discerning that this represents the body of Jesus. Beaten, battered by whose stripes we are healed. It says for this cause. That means when you take it with understanding and you take it worthily. For that cause you will be strong. You will be healthy and you will live. You will be strong. You will be healthy and you will live. Exodus chapter 12 from verse 7 to 8 the mystery of the blood and then 12 to 13 we are not going there we don't have the time we have to move on to other things I'm just giving you references Exodus chapter 12 7 to 8 and then 12 to 13 and also verse 23 these are all scriptures that show how the blood upon the lintel and the doorpost when the angel of death, the Bible calls it the destroyer. That when the destroyer comes and he sees that blood upon your lintel, it will leave and trouble you not. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Key number four, honor to parents. Key number four, let's be fast please. Honor to parents, open bracket, both physical and spiritual. Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 2 to 3. 
honor to parents both physical and spiritual are mystery keys to long life one to read is projected one to read honor thy father and thy mother which is the first commandment with a promise verse 3 was the blessing that it may be well with thee and that thou mayest live long where it told you you will live long and it told you the location where you will live long for honoring parents how many of us have dishonored our parents yes they are foolish yes they've acted stupidly yes they may have behaved in a way but do you honor them some of us beat up our parents some of us beat up daddy and mommy we think i'm a big boy i'm a big girl i'm now married i have children i'm driving a jeep let no level of madness ever get into you that you will insult your father curse your father or your mother let me show you this proverbs 20 20 a grave consequence follow those who can curse and dishonor their fathers read it please one to read his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness whosoever can dare to curse the father and the mother that brought him to the earth now get this i'm not saying that they lead you to partition so as for as long as what they are doing is not leading you to death and leading you outside of salvation no matter what it is look at me david twice had the opportunity to kill saul is that true are you bible students david had the opportunity to kill saul he caught his rope and went away with it he said i will not be the one to kill god's anointed how many times have people run their mouths talking about men of god you sit down where you are and you are just lambasting men of god just talking and smiling the bible says honor your father and your mother whether spiritual or physical he said they that rule well among you deserve double honor honor them that rule well when they have proven a life of integrity not human worship not fear but a sense of honor and respect i honor my parents in life and in death hallelujah some of you have elderly people come around you can see an elderly person standing in a meeting in your house and you just cross your leg and you are just balancing and smiling and say you came late please i don't want anything to inconvenience me you are there shaking your wivon up and down instead of you to stand up and say mama please you can sit down and she say no 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 my daughter insist insist say mama sit down it's not about being a virtuous woman it's about life and death life and death it's in your bible i'm not the one saying it it's in your bible say i choose to honor my father and my mother how many of you pray for your men of God? How many of you pray for ministers? You stand here criticizing and shouting when you hear that a minister has a scandal. Instead of you to get to the place of prayer, you stand there saying, I always knew, I always suspected. The way I've been looking at that man. You see that? Continue. The Bible says, he that cursed his father and his mother, his lamp, his life will be taken away to obscure that. How many have died as a result of this honor? When a father fights his son, he loses his honor. When a son fights his father, spiritual or physical, he loses his life. That's why many people sadly to say, many people who just break out foolishly because they want to start their churches or ministries, break out and jeopardize the life of the Jew thinking God called them notice very few of them ever last because he that dishonored his father his lamb will be taken are we learning number what now number five walking in wisdom the fifth key to long life walking in wisdom Proverbs chapter 3 verse 13 to 3 verse 13 to 16 those outside if you are still with us say amen god bless you all right proverbs 3 verse 13 to 16 walking in wisdom 
walking in wisdom foolishness can take a man's life foolishness can cut short a man's life walking in wisdom hallelujah the bible says happy is the man that what finds wisdom that means you have to look for it and the man that get it understanding 14 for the merchandise of it are better than silver and they gain thereof than fine gold 15 she is more precious than rubies and all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared with her 16 length of days are in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor if you embrace wisdom it will also open you up to long life look at me how many people do you know who cannot drive hello they cannot drive and then they go and carry a truck and kick it because they are trying to impress their colleagues are you seeing how foolishness costs the life of people and then they go to the road they have given the spirit of death unrestrained access how many people drive their cars foil is leaking down are you getting what i'm saying foil is leaking and they don't care there are people who who transfer is a gallon that is in their car or their bus they connect it directly to the carburetor and from the bus, from the foil is feeding the vehicle and they are there running they are smiling how many people you look at the tire of the car and you are already seeing the metal the tire is so it is the man is driving and holding the steering this way for the car to be straight. That's the degree to which the car is disaligned. And yet he plans to travel to Lagos. The Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. Are we blessed? A man takes beer, alcohol, and tells you, can I give you a ride? He says, really? You get into the car wisdom you have trusted your life to a foolish man are we getting blessed please how many things do people do go to many homes now and see the risky connections that they do in their homes directly under your bed is one wire that's been there two years naked wire how many people dry their clothes on naked wires or at least part of it is beginning to cut life wire they dry their clothes and smile they have been doing it i i know how to do it no 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 i'm showing you how people partner with the spirit of death to cut short their lives you plug iron and you just reduce it and then you are watching film and you are enraptured in the movie there are many of us the way you own your car there is something only you know how to touch you touch the wires and then something down. You just touch it and it sparks. Cas, cas, and then the thing starts. You've been doing it for many years. Preserved by mercy. You think you are wise. God is speaking to you tonight. How many people drive cars with the exhaust on the ground? Sparking. You will see it sparking. And there is foil directly under. Yet we went to school. Is God teaching us wisdom? There are people where you keep the room where people sleep is also where you keep foil. You buy one jerry can of foil and keep it closed. There are babies there. There are all kinds of things. People are inhaling it. There are others you never eat well. I'm showing you how people partner with Satan to destroy their lives. You never eat well. There's no difference from the day God, you were in poverty and now that God is even helping you. There is no difference. Look at mechanics. Look at what they eat. Same thing. One lady comes with, 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 with a lele or something and serves them. That's what they eat every day, every night. They take tea in the night. See, that kind of unhealthy, that's why the life expectancy level of Africa is about, is it 30 or 40? scientifically proven we're not talking of demons here we're just talking of carelessness say carelessness yes yes people do all kinds of things risky things and we think there is no problem to it very risky things 
It's only God that can tell the kind of risks people take every day. Every day. There's food on fire. You made yam. The water is boiling. You want to use your hand to carry it out. Can't you look for a spoon? If the spoon is missing, can't you be patient? Why must you cut you? You came complete. Why must you go back with one hand? Yes, you will make heaven, but is that a rich life? Is that a rich life? Why will you cut short your life because of carelessness? It's God speaking to us. Number six. The sixth key to longevity is to take authority over the spirit of death, infirmity, and destruction. We're getting deeper now. We're getting to the area where we're going to pray. Luke 10 verse 19. Death is a spirit, brothers and sisters. I've taught you this. Behold, see, don't be ignorant. I give you power to tread upon serpents, upon scorpions, and over how many? How many? All the powers of the enemy. It says, and nothing shall by any means harm you. I have given you. If you take advantage of it and you use it appropriately, he said, with wise counsel, make war. With wise counsel, make war. I have given it to you. Death is a spirit. Infirmity is a spirit. Destruction is a spirit. The spirit does not just work by default when the spirit of death is in an environment what happens is it waits and finds people that partner with its activity this is the standard operation there are a few exemptions however but the standard way the spirit of death the spirit of death is like a lion waiting for a prey are you getting what i'm saying now Let's take 10 minutes and discuss something that will be very serious under this topic. A subtopic under point six, the reality of witchcraft. Deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 12. May I remind you, ladies and gentlemen, if you are yet to believe that witchcraft is real. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If anyone has deceived you into the illusion that you are living in a world where there is no witchcraft, I just gave you a teaser with wicked spirits please listen to what i'm saying because it's very important the reality of witchcraft deuteronomy 18 from verse 10 to 12 let's hurry up let's just write the scriptures media copy them down and then you give it to us nahum chapter 3 verse 4 ezekiel chapter 13 verse 17 to 23 proverbs 1 11 and then psalms 10 verse 8 there are many more but we'll just stop here Give us Deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 12. Let's hurry up. Everyone read. Want to read. There shall be not found among you anyone that make his son or his daughter to do what? Pass through fire. Or that uses divination. Or an observer of times. An enchanter. Or a witch. Next verse. Or a charmer. Or a consulter with familiar spirits. Or a wizard. Or a necromancer. Next verse. For all that do these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out before thee. God himself identifies that there is a dark side to our world. There are enchanters. There are stargazers. There are men that manipulate the constellation against the destinies of men. The church has been so ignorant or we have exaggerated the reality and the existence of Satan. Nahum chapter 3 verse 4. Just look up so that um, since it's projected. One to read. Because of the multitude of the wardoms of the well-favored harlot, the what? Mistress of witchcraft. 
that sell what? Look at what she sells. She can she look at her goods. The way you sell pure water. The mistress of witchcraft. And say you can come and meet me. And I will give you Africa. I can give you this village. I can sell that soul to you. It's in your Bible. It says she sells what? Nations through her wardom. Her fraternity with human beings. That means human agents come to meet her. I want access to a territory. And what does she sell again? Families. Is that in your Bible? Is that in your Bible? That there are witchcraft activities that sell families. Let's look at two scriptures quickly. Ezekiel 13, 17 to 23. is a long reading. Let's rush. Are you still with me? All right, let's hurry up to 23. Likewise, son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart, and prophesy thou against them. Lord God, woe to the women that sow pillows to all armholes, and make what? Handkerchiefs. What version is this? Okay. It's okay. Upon the head of every stature. Hey, let me show you what the Bible is saying. Where's my handkerchief? They sew pillows and they carry handkerchiefs and drop it on the head of statues to do what? To do what? To hunt souls as a way of invoking the spirits of men. They take on a handkerchief, put it on a statue and call your name. It's in your Bible. They have not taught you because many preachers have lied to you. That is a nice word for as long as you just say, God... I'm here and I love you. Everything is all right. Welcome to planet Earth that has strangers that are here before our arrival. They hunt souls. He said, will ye hunt the souls of my people? They are hunting. They are everywhere. Let me tell you. Especially for Africa. Please don't pretend like you are coming from the Caribbean. You were born an African. You belong to an African family. And you must be ready to confront our children by the grace of God will not need to go through this. But for now, we must pay that price. Are you there? Will ye save the souls alive that come unto you? Next verse. Let's look at it quickly. And will ye people, oh, and will ye what? Me among the people for handful of barley and for pieces of bread. To slay what? Read that part. To slay the souls that should not die to slay souls that should not die and to do what to save the souls that are alive the mystery of spiritual exchange that a man will see that his time is here because the wicked shall be cut short and he will say in my place i invoke this and i donate this person die in my stead it was an ancient practice that king used when they were about to kill them, they killed their children and an indignation rose and the war ended. It's still being practiced today. Men who give others for their lives. I prophesy to you, any man that invokes your name on any altar, as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, they will carry their dead body from that altar. I say it again, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that any charm, any altar that invokes your name, to die the death of another. May my God visit them with judgment. Next, next verse. Lord God, behold, I am against your pillows. Wherewith ye were there to hunt the souls. To make them fly. Watch this. Look at the mystery of witchcraft. And I will tear them from your arms. And we let the souls go. Even the souls that ye hunt. To make them fly. When verse what now? Two verses left. Your handkerchiefs. I will also tear. Your instruments of divination. Those, those mediums. That you use in covens. That you flip. And call the names of people. And somebody is walking peacefully on the street. All of a sudden. Somebody comes with a knife and kills him. And they say he just died. No, sir. He did not just die. An invocation happening in the realm of the spirit. I 
and deliver my people out of your hand and they shall be no more in your hand to be haunted say amen. amen and they shall know that i am the lord your god let's read 22 because i can't read all those ones whom i have not made sad listen and strengthen the hands of the wicked that you should not return from his wicked ways by promising him life look at these guys the summary is that this is a transaction of life and death happening in the underworld whereas there are human beings moving you are minding your business they are discussing business with your life i prophesy to you again oh lord god of israel i speak that anyone under the sound of my voice that is being manipulated by stargazers that is being manipulated by necromancers they who manipulate the constellations i declare in the name of jesus christ may those ovens catch fire may those governments tonight catch fire may those governments catch fire Proverbs 1 verse 11 Proverbs 1 verse 11 Shabarato Totobaya Watch this If they say Come with us Let us lie and wait for what? Let us do what? Let us wait for blood Let us lock privately for the innocent Without cause Meaning they did not do anything But we desire their blood so we are waiting let's wait for the day that they want to take a step let's wait for when the woman takes in and then we will visit ah. the whole world lieth in wickedness if you are yet to be aware be aware this night write the following scriptures down we may not have time to read them but this is the lot of the wicked this is what god will do with wicked people okay let's look at one of them micah chapter 5 verse 12 but one other scripture you will write this is the lot of witchcraft psalms 109 verse 17 to 18 just write that we won't read it let's read micah chapter 5 verse 12. when the lord opened my eyes to this scripture i was amazed one to read and shout amen after you read it one to read He said i will cut off witchcraft i will cut it off because if i don't cut it off they will cut short your life so i will cut it off is god helping us but i mean number seven quickly there are eight points i'm giving you seven activating the ministry of angels the seventh key to long life activating the ministry of angels hebrews 1 14 activating the ministry of angels angels are real they are real i have seen them i see them all the time angels are very very real are they not all ministering spirits meaning you cannot see them in the physical except god opens your eyes or he gives them a, a material body to appear before you sent forth to do what to minister to those who shall be the heirs of salvation are you an heir of salvation are you a partaker of salvation there are angels allocated to you but they never act until you activate their ministry they never act until you activate their ministry until you activate their ministry and you activate their ministry in the place of prayer you activate their ministry through words you release angels you release angels you activate their ministry angels are real and they help believers we we'll look at a few scriptures they protect they preserve and they contend with wicked spirits part of the assignment of angels with respect to spiritual warfare and preservation of the saints because God knows that alone we cannot make it. There is an advantage that wicked spirits have. They have advantage of the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom. And so he gave us angels. Joshua chapter 5 verse 13 to 14. Don't turn there. Just write it. Joshua 5 verse 13 to 14. Joshua has an, an encounter with an angel. 
project for us project for us second kings 19 verse 35 second kings 19 verse 35 while she's doing that in the book of daniel chapter 10 when you read from verse 13 the bible says that archangel michael contended with the prince of persia he was trying to stop him from coming down to destroy daniel but daniel was activating the ministry of that angel in the place of prayer when we pray we activate angels when we speak we activate angels second kings you can see the angels standing to fight warfare for men read and it came to pass that night that the angel of the lord went out and smote in the camp of the assyrians a hundred four score and five thousand and when they rose up early in the morning behold they were all dead corpses one angel imagine how powerful they are about 185 thousand people killed by one angel in one night when you activate them Jude chapter 1 verse 9 the Bible tells us that when Satan came to carry the body of Moses Satan wanted to come and carry the body of Moses and Michael the archangel again he came to contend with Satan so angels fight to preserve our bodies they fight to preserve our lives preserve our bodies preserve our destinies Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 read verse 11 one to read for he shall give what his angels charge over thee hallelujah to keep thee in all thy ways verse 12 and they shall bear thee up on their hands lest thou dash thy foot against the stone hallelujah the key to activating them is found in Psalms 103 verse 20. Psalm 103 verse 20. Please begin to prepare the oil. There's, there's an anointing service that will happen here shortly. Very quickly. Quickly. Bring the oil for me please. Don't open it yet. Just bring it. These are the instructions that the Lord gave me. Psalms 103 verse 20. Go ahead and read. One to read. Bless the Lord ye his angels that excel in strength that do what his commandment how do they walk hearkening they walk at the instance of his word they walk at the instance of his word as you pray and declare the word you activate them you activate them you activate them as you speak God's word the moment they hearken to the word they start walking until a word is spoken the angels are not activated the moment they hearken to the word they start moving hallelujah these are eight keys that the Lord revealed to me in my place of retreat and he said teach my people these are the keys to long life these are the keys to long life you can live long and the Lord gave me an instruction he said according to the mystery of the blood and the mystery of the oil anoint my people I don't do foolish things give me the oil I'm not one of those men of God that just does things impulsively and the Lord gave me an instruction he said when I was done with that retreat I should come back and based on two scriptures the Lord gave me Isaiah 10 27 something will happen in this place tonight Mande Brando Susopratia Shibro Satalande Kras Kobrash Tilaba Shibro Zetetete Baladabaya and it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken away from your shoulder it shall come to pass that those spells of enchanters and stargazers and they that hunt your soul unto death it shall come to pass 
that by a mystery as revealed of the Lord of Sabaoth the avenger of men that it shall come to pass that at the instance of his word that it shall be taken from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing because of the anointing there are charms that must be broken because of the anointing there are people sentenced to death sentenced to accidents sentenced to untimely death by the mystery by the mystery of the oil the second scripture exodus chapter 12 please please everyone turn there i sense the anointing of the spirit very strongly right now please turn there this is the instruction that the lord gave me make sure everyone is participating right now no matter how far those following us online they can get oil if, if they have access to verse 7 please verse 7 and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door post of the houses wherein they shall eat he says they shall take the blood and put it on the lintel go to verse 12 for i will pass through the land of egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of egypt both man and beast and against all the gods of egypt I will execute vengeance i am the lord this is what the lord told me in the secret place he said i'm arising as a mighty man the blood of the innocent christ before me that's what the lord told me and the lord said a destroyer is going to move across the nations and the lord told me vengeance there will be vengeance upon witchcraft i had the lord and he revealed this to me my eyes was open in the spirit and i saw like a cloud moving across territories and the lord told me by the mystery of preservation you preserve my people that's why i'm carrying this oil is serving both as oil and spiritually as the mystery of the blood rise up on your feet and begin to blast in tongues thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her yea the set time Inside and outside, pray. Zakata ta 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 ta. Bram pata patesh. Rekete tekete. Robotos koto pekete. Lekete prosopatia. Hallelujah. Can we have the plates, please, very quickly? Lift your voice and say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on, say it like a believer. In the name of Jesus every power of witchcraft manipulating my life and my destiny by the mystery of the blood i command judgment upon you lift your voice and pray i shall not die but leave to declare pray sento to to te te roto skete pa ma do so to le ke te e pros ko to skete ke te ke te me na mos skete ke te ke te mos re fotos ko protos te e pros so po te
Hallelujah. We just have two prayer points. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants to cut short my life and exchange my life for someone else's own. In the name of Jesus, I come against you. Lift your voice and speak. Stargazers, necromancers, those that trade the souls of men, they cut short destinies throughout. hallelujah the last prayer point say in the name of jesus i declare the seal of the blood over my life my loved ones my going out my coming in no accident shall take my life no terrorist shall take my life no sickness shall take my life i am secure in christ lift your voice and pray pray for yourself pray for your loved ones no death no death no death the destroyer cannot plague my life the destroyer cannot plague my family the destroyer cannot plague my destiny my going out preserve coming in preserve by the blood by the blood You are looking at this olive oil but this is no ordinary oil the lord instructed me to pray through the night over this oil and release the power of preservation that it becomes the mystery of the blood in the spirit and that's exactly what i've done and lord i lift this in the name of jesus i come under this apostolic office in the name of the lord jesus and i declare that over this territory of zaria over koinonia over our families the plague of death will not find expression it will not cut short the lives of people in the name of jesus christ father let this oil lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance in the name of jesus let the terrestrial become celestial let the earthly become heavenly and lord let this carry preservation power in the name of Jesus now watch this we're going to do it very orderly and very fast I prayed for this I will anoint the heads of department um, two of them will go outside they will just be in front your job is to walk orderly I'm sure they will coordinate them just take a portion put it on your head and come back and blast in tongues begin to blast preservation begin to speak and release life to yourself hallelujah go ahead and begin to pray you came tonight with prayer requests you came tonight with challenges i want you to know there is a spirit behind that challenge every challenge in any man's life is a sign that there are demon spirits standing that's not a sign that you don't have faith it's a sign that you are in the world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness hallelujah do you believe what i'm teaching you true freedom then does not just become jumping around and shouting i am free when we can obviously see that there is a, a spirit influencing you 
how many angry pastors do you know they love god they jump around but you do something they can wind their hand and slap you because you see you can claim you are a man of god you can claim you are whatever but it does not stop those spirits from influencing you listen the influence of spirits over a man's life is a contention it takes light and revelation and the anointing for you to stand in a position where the holy spirit is the only spirit that is authorized to find expression in your human spirit and ultimately through your body but there are many people under the influence of many spirits and they will not agree their bodies are helplessly executing masturbation yet they love god their bodies are helplessly executing pornography their bodies are helplessly executing all kinds of things then we try to create messages to say it doesn't matter yo it matters don't let anyone fool you it does it does matter then you lie down in the night to sleep and here comes a gentleman or a gentle lady sleeps with you some of you stand up with bedwetting you stand up with every experience and you just pretend that nothing happened i i pretend i didn't see anything why are you deceiving ah nothing happened i'm okay and you get up and everybody who would have helped you in the day no longer is able to help you and you come back and say no 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 i, I think there's something i'm not claiming look calm down and let the power of god set you free or tell lies and join the crowd of liars with all kinds of struggles in the secret place who will not open up their hearts for true liberty the bible says now the lord is that spirit he said and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i was preaching i was in ministry yet demons were oppressing me shamelessly my own was so bad i would see them physically lie down to sleep and here they come marching gallantly into my room and oppress me they could oppress me so much i can hear people talking in the physical right a lady gets up and has an issue of blood one month two months three months losing blood losing your life no forget about the physical losing of the blood there is a spirit that losing of the blood is is a type of the manifestation of a spirit somewhere you get up a very healthy lady and all of a sudden you find out that there's lump in your breast and you just laugh and say it happens um when you eat in in restaurants too much when you eat fried food lump will come out look at look at the explanation that you are convinced and, and the spirits are saying i like this generation i like the way science is hiding us from them a man goes to bed healthy and wakes up in the morning and one leg cannot lift again i think the protocol department were there when one small boy did something during counseling i think the last time we had counseling one woman that we prayed for during one of the miracle services so they came for counseling when they came for counseling i looked at the boy the mother was so slim and they were saying that the boy was in occult and all of that and i looked at the boy and i said are you in occult the boy said yes i said who tied your mother he said me i said why now he said they asked him to do it i said go on loser who was there you were there lawrence i mean this guy so wonders that will not end the boy just went sat down on the ground carried mama's legs and started doing it like this then later he'll say remain small he's about to finish when the boy finished he got up now you would have you would have seen that and said this small boy but this boy is only a slave to a spirit when a child of five years old will not let the mother rest that coconut head is not the physical head there is a there is a spirit that makes thy head strong and stubborn are we together now slapping the child in anger is only wasting your time there is a spirit that can influence your life and bad luck follows you you become a magnet you never magnetize anything good if guys to jam people you are the one it will jam 
if police is to gather some people as suspects it's just when they are catching people you just come in they say follow them you say no 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 i attend koinonia they say go and explain in the police station now you may laugh about it you may laugh about it every bad thing happens to you everyone laughs in the class but the lecturer will ask you to stand up and say why did you laugh as if you are the only person and you were at the back listen that lecturer himself may be a victim to a spirit is joining your heads together and so by coming to his office you now say you I, I don't you smile what is your name now you are entered another level of, of trouble humans victims to spirits that's what is happening in the earth I feel very sad when I see people. They get up and they get up in the morning and they do not know. Listen, they do not know that your body is only an instrument of execution. There is a spirit that is driving you. When you see favor coming to a man, no, there is a spirit that makes it happen. There is an operation. There is an anointing. Are you getting me now? You can just be sitting down and then God will speak to you. Carry 10,000 naira and give a marker. Why didn't God say somebody should give to you? There is something. It's not just that, okay, God has pity. No, 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 no. If you understand this, you will know how easy it is to walk in victory. You don't focus on this physical body. You focus on what spirit and what atmosphere influences it because that's what determines the possibilities there are people who almost never pay for anything when you are going to buy something that's where somebody comes and says do you know i was thinking about you this morning and you tell the person i'm not surprised because the activity of the holy spirit manifesting as different things favor the blessing whatever it is orchestrate events together for you are you getting what I'm saying now? As a pastor, the day the anointing is strong upon your life, that's the day everybody who can help you will not come for the program. You stand and preach your life out and everybody say, Kai, we have seen what, what God is doing through you and uh, Pastor Femi, we really appreciate. Uh, by God's grace, next convention will not forget you, I assure you. And you stand up and go. But someone else, the day he's coming, somebody is about to travel and mysteriously his car may spoil and he'll say let me attend this program and he comes and says god has been asking me to sow into a man this preacher is that man you think it just happens the only thing that grows in a farm without being planted is called what everything of worth is planted are you getting what i'm saying favor does not just come a ministry does not just grow anointing doesn't just come revelation doesn't just come honor doesn't just come a man doesn't just become sick a man doesn't just become healed was it not in your bible listen that the trouble around daniel's life was the spirit of the medis and the persians is that not true it was happening physically through human beings but it was a spirit because he was under the influence of the, the, the Medes and the Persians. He was a spirit that made men to serve idols. And now a man came called Daniel. And he was praying. And his prayer was judging those spirits. And so they could not influence the king. And he made the king like Daniel. Are you getting me now? And the king's liking Daniel made him to subscribe to the God of Daniel. And those spirits said, no, we have to find a way of bringing enmity between the king and Daniel. So one day you get up and somebody comes. You, you thought a neighbor just entered your house and jammed your head. You and your destiny helper and left. It's not just that a neighbor came. A spirit visited your compound using human vessels. Jammed the head of two people and left all of you together. Are you getting what I'm saying now? A husband and a wife 
lovely people romeo and juliet the marriage is going well all of a sudden a spirit lands in that house and then something happens a woman who has been minding her business all of a sudden she looks at a text and doesn't see it properly and she thinks that she saw i love you to another woman she carries it and lands the phone on the man's head only to find out that it was maybe to their daughter or a spiritual daughter or something and now enmity starts and a lot of people sit down and say you see uh, just love yourself just manage like that wait and see the part two of that movie the holy spirit i mean the, the demon spirit will come again into the house something will happen that demon spirit will start making that man to fail in his job are you getting the point now he will return back home with the anger of his job that spirit the same spirit will start making the woman angry and be impatient so her impatience is jamming with his failure in the office what does it produce divorce that's the name at the end of it the apostle and the prophet that should rise from that family no longer has parents and the boy who would have loved church who would have been faithful in church is now forced to follow bad gangs you just thought it was a physical acting the body without a spirit is dead every time you see things around your life not working the way god orchestrated don't sit down and discuss get into the place of prayer immediately there is war happening in the heavenlies there is a clash of spirits they are claiming your body listen do you know that when moses died watch this when michael came to carry the body of moses he found satan too satan wanted to use the body of moses enter it and resurrect as moses are you getting the point now resurrect as moses and start bringing error to people and he needed the body desperately and michael said no 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 i'm not going to drag with you the lord rebuke you how many people saw your mother in a dream a spirit carried the face of your innocent mother landed it in the dream of her enemy and she got up and said i knew it i knew it joshua selman's mother is a witch this one i saw it the woman came with a knife how many of our mothers and fathers have been called witches and wizards and and this is what many prophets see and because they do not have discernment are you getting the point now they now say i saw who some this and that and that and that is it not in your bible when a a, a diviner invokes the supposed spirit of samuel to prophesy I refuse any other spirit from influencing my life I, I, I don't have time for that I cannot be a victim for the the failure that is orchestrated look at Job one more scripture to prove this to you Job a man who loved God and eschewed evil but the Bible says a meeting happened between spirits in the heavens Job was not there oh. a man just gets up in the morning and they have concluded a meeting about you your children are on the way thunder strikes them you just finished furnishing your house thunder strikes it your cattle die mysteriously notice all the deaths that happened there was one one people left to come and testify is that a testimony job i'm the only one who is alive this is what happened and then the meeting was held again and he said let's touch his body ah. So a meeting can happen. Watch this. Let's destroy this family. And they conclude it. You snore your way through the morning. Wake up. And that's the last time you know peace in a long time. You are a victim. Your body is only a victim. Tonight, this is the, this is the theme of this miracle service. Let me tell you. When these spirits clear out of the way, you will be shocked to see the doors that will open for you. All of a sudden, you who nobody would call you, you will receive a call 
the last time you spoke with that person was five years he did just call you the holy ghost made it happen because there was a spirit that was stopping that call every time they want to think about you a distraction happens and you remain in that suffering and when you come to us men of god we say it's okay don't worry things will change one day it go better that, 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 no, no 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 that's why i told you you must insist tonight you must insist you are mighty on your throne two things there are three things that give demon spirits access to people and families i want you to pay attention to what i'm saying three things number one covenants 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 you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing oh fountains of the deep kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne america as a nation listen a man can wear the inner wears of a woman watch this and be moving on the street and that man returns back and blessings keep following him a very stupid man but good things are happening in his life let me tell you why it's because of the covenant of the fathers there were people who signed an agreement and said lord we give this nation to you anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing and so a woman a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive in nigeria you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he would die was it the knife that killed him at the doctor so daft let me tell you what our forefathers left with us ready this is what they left they went to mountains valleys regions listen and all kinds of ancestry we can fake it and pretend listen i'm a new creation person i've read the pauline epistles are you getting what i'm saying i understand the grace of god and the new creation realities very well but i know god and i understand his ways are you following me now please come two people very quickly so that i need to no no sit down pass for me I promise you come come stand here stand here watch this in my example this guy is a thief this guy is a wrong occupant watch this if this is my handkerchief and ken comes to quickly steal it the moment he hears this my footsteps what will he do he'll run away because he's a what thief but if somebody comes and meets promise and say promise give me 10 naira i will give you this handkerchief and promise gives him 10 naira and he gave him the handkerchief is there a contract there is there a covenant there if he sees me coming will he refuse because you see the realm of the spirit is a legal realm are you getting what i'm saying now so our forefathers went to idols and they said protect our wives make the plants bring crops for us in response we will hold festivals every time in response we will donate children to you in response they, it was not their fault they did it because christianity had not come to nigeria now watch this when samuel ajayi crowder and many other christians came they brought the gospel of salvation not the mysteries of the kingdom are you getting me they brought the gospel and we salute them but that was not enough the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught so even they themselves died i traveled to we were in gombe one time gombe state and we're going to yerima's village to go and greet his family and on our way there there was a rock like a cap and they were telling us a story there 
that the people used to live there that that rock used to open physically there was an invocation that would be made on it and it would open and people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war and this is what they said the last person to enter you are the one that is donated to that rock the last person to come out you are also donated to the rock are we together now and that rock has been faithful has been what the same way our forefathers had bumper harvest even where there was no rain mysteriously the crops grew these spirits kept their part of the contract all of a sudden some missionaries just found themselves into the village and they said we brought good news and they died in three days the spirit killed them immediately and said you are joking good news of what and then a few people received it and then when they received it they convinced themselves that because they are born again the territory was now changed i watched a documentary brothers and sisters in fiji island fiji island is an island small island but they love god now something happened there were missionaries who came to that place and they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them before the missionaries died they cursed the land they cursed the land and the people and they died and the people thought it did not matter one by one the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously when hunger hits the people from the government down they said something is wrong and god began to reveal to the church around there that look there are there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed this is what they did they began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries listen to me they brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city they loved them and the children blessed the land and say we release you from the cause of our fathers it's, it's a documentary in less than one week they saw fish crops started growing fiji island changed at once there are so many families that are seated part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol you will never build a house you will never marry contract sealed now you came that you are born again and you are moving around 35 37 no marriage the other one too is coming when you meet pastors they say no problem are you not born again just believe marriage is going the ones that get married no children mysteriously you are seeing the same patterns happen because covenants are powerful that was the very same principle jesus used to redeem man covenants covenants are you getting what i'm saying now covenants are powerful until they are broken the spirits the custodian of those covenants are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the of the covenant even on the victims please believe what i'm saying i prayed for too many people i've ministered to too many people i'm not telling you stories i'm telling you what i was free from number two ignorance ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people psalm 82 verse 5 bless you guys thank you they know not neither will they understand they crop in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result the earth is out of course but have i not said verse six year god and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes the bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge ignorance ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom ignorance of the principles of the kingdom ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit number three disobedience personal disobedience deuteronomy when you read i think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass it says thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that i command you this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you 
is tied to your obedience the bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected when it is complete disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey god nothing happens no it's not about god doing it it's about the laws in the spirit they will not change they didn't start with the old testament those laws predate our dispensation are we together now so tonight i want you to look at your life very carefully especially for those of us who have come have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness in one area or the other that does not mean you are not born again that does not mean you are not serious with god but it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say no way i come by the blood i come to challenge these things there are many of us you have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him his friend now comes and says Tor, since my friend has come me too i love you something happens let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land i know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and receive the slap in the in the in the land true true story because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it gave him a slap when listen when i was in secondary school we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pam the permanent site that temporal site used to be a hospital are you getting the point where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen I tell you many students had encounters with strange beings you are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds sounds that can give you a headache for a long time I remember our school getting ultimate power so that we will watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this this nonsense many students were initiated into occultism because of that but tonight we come in the name of the Lord, the captain of the army. That this situation in your life must end. I sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies. A testimony is simply what happens when the Holy Spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life. Any other spirit must create problems. Tonight, daddy mommy sisters and brothers there is need to deal with certain things in our lives i saw poverty in my family as if we offended god coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background your name can be solomon you will remain poor until what needs to be addressed, be addressed that's why i told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance listen as we begin to pray many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone really when you understand this you will know what a miracle is a miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs this is what Jesus did to the woman who was bound. He looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years. And he said, woman, thou art loose. Loose? He didn't say thou art healed. He said thou art loose. The moment the spirit left, he laid hands on her 
and straighten the physical body and there she went remember that madman at gathering that was an evangelist in a cave tearing himself into pieces the moment the spirit heard that jesus was coming they were waiting for him at the other side hallelujah mighty on your throne mighty on your throne i'll never forget one time i was praying praying seriously i was in the spirit and i had a vision i saw that there is a tree that is close to and where i stay and i didn't see that tree again i just saw a great beast like like a like a being the tail was a snake the eyes were big like human head imagine this head now like an eye two of them one here one here and the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger and all he told me is so you think you can bring god's people into prosperity and then it left that was it mighty on your throne mighty on your throne that's the reason why every time satan wants to destroy you the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person so your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me and satan will say amen let's go and then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say help me tonight we are going to cry to the king of kings i don't know if you came for this miracle service especially for those who are family people here you should never go back the same you see the results of people 4.8 5 points they have always had that ability even when they were getting one point it's a spirit that makes that happen don't let anyone fool you you are not so daft human beings were created intelligent when you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because i didn't read well is that really true how many of you watch film twice to explain it you sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife and that was you didn't read for it yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that i didn't get it it is the reason why you can read a novel of 1000 pages but a lifetime you can't read half of the bible because there is a spirit stopping you if this was a novel some of us would say take this i will bring it for you next week friday and you will exhaust it but from the day you were born the day you were born till today you have not read up to one third of the bible one time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward you started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance after you read it you now threw it away because you cannot help yourself in the flesh it takes the anointing of the spirit that's why he sends carpenters that's why he puts miracle services like this so that you can come under the influence of god's power how about genotype issues ss you get up and find out you are ss or as do you know the bible never mentions the issue of ss or as are you aware of that that thing was a technology that was fabricated by satan to stop people from getting married you see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come and then one spirit just brings one one demonic report called ss and they say sorry we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight i'm challenging you because when we rise we are going to pray the miracles will start as we pray you've got to be angry with yourself and say no enough is enough enough is enough we are come to mount zion where there is an innumerable company of angels where there is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant that speaketh better things than any ordinance 
the good news is that Jesus has paid the price our job is to enforce that victory are you getting my point we enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me yeah. your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me sing it two more times with faith in your heart same power that conquered the grave lives in me Rescue the earth lives in me, lives in me. Jump up on your feet and sing it one more time. Sepa and conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. One more time with faith in your spirit. Say, power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Listen, deliverance, therefore, is a separation is the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences the spirits that attempt to influence your life the legal separation brothers and sisters when that happens to you then you will see gates open by themselves when that happens to you you will see realms of favor all these things people pray on you must challenge those spirits you must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family and God is ready for us tonight I tell you God is ready for us tonight lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word the body without a spirit is dead the body without a spirit is dead now I realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life lift your voice and thank him for this revelation lord i now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let a dissatisfaction rise from you Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, 
lives in me. Just the voices. Sing it from your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. The power that can challenge any altar. The power that can challenge any force of witchcraft. Any generational cause. One more time, sing it. That conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Yeah. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Same power, Same power that conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love, your love, say your love that rescued the earth is in me, lives in me. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it. Say it must stop tonight. Lift your voice. Oh, come on, Koinonia, you should be praying. Ha pare ke 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 patata mandala tata challenge the spirit challenge the spirit behind failures challenge the spirit behind marital delays challenge the spirit Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. Hey, the spirit the body without a spirit is dead hallelujah 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 look up please Your failure without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Are you getting what I'm saying? The key to liberty is to evict the spirit that initiates that thing. For a body without a spirit is dead. Any cause without a spirit backing it is dead. Is null and voice any pronouncement any enchantment without a spirit is dead therefore I want you to lift your voice and I want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit address it behold I give you power over snakes, scorpions, separate Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are spirits that will never allow you to walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will, they will bring you into error. So that everything you see misleads you into trouble. I'd like you to lift your voice again. Just do what I'm asking you to do. From the realm of the heavens, challenge powers, challenge forces over your finances. Oh, it must change. It must change. It must change. It must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot live? Maka kapata. Lift your hands to the heavens. Lift your hands. My goodness. All I see in this room and outside is fire. That's all I see. Fire. You will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen. This one is the one that will bring your miracle. Listen. As this prayer goes on, miracles will start immediately. Many of you will start getting reports from your body. Many of you will be open to visions. Right now, lift your hands. Hallelujah. My goodness, there is such a heavy unction on me. It's for deliverance tonight. It must give way for you to move forward. At the count of three, hear me. Listen, I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. At the top of your voice is a prophetic instruction. As you shout it, fire. Some of you visions, your eyes will be open in the spirit. You will see covens catching fire. Mata Labata. Father, you told me tonight is a night of deliverance. There are families under bondage. There are businesses under bondage. Enough is enough. Let your fire bring deliverance. Are you ready now? At the count of three, may heaven invade this place. One, two, three. Second, second, second. I command governments. I command altars. I command spirits. Kaporotoshe. Bring them out. Fire. 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 Brings Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
the Holy Ghost is showing me a vision we are going to shout it again please don't do it here I see many people vomiting poison physical poison as you shout physically it will come out lift your voice bata bata father anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now as you shout jesus we have victim one two three a protos mokotos lekotos prototokote a riakata he must let you go he must let you go you are coming out of their lives you are coming out of their lives you are coming out of their lives my goodness fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place fire is burning in this place the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the devil must let you go the lord is giving me a word right now there are ladies here there is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you to sleep with you right now lord where are they let that fire let that fire bring deliverance right now right now right now right now every spirit husband every manifestation every spirit wife every devil that has leads to you it leaves you now now right now he must leave you now hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady you see physical snakes where is that lady physically physically it appears to you physically the lady is right here please come out i don't know who that lady is physical snake it appears to you you see it let me tell you something after this miracle service you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you that's when you will know that satan is not as powerful as he looks hallelujah lift your voice and pray any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers have been called out of every tribe every tongue i am i'm a new creation no longer connected to ancestry lift your voice and pray every altar that connects me to my fathers Every witchcraft that attempts to connect me. No, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We we'll pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing I'm seeing a lady. Please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now right now and make your way to the front i see someone having severe pain your tie right under here your tie there is severe pain severe pain the lord is healing that person right now please check yourself and make your way to the front 
right now check yourself make your way to the front i'm seeing two ladies you came here with heaviness there is heaviness on your chest it's just like something heavy god is healing people can you appreciate jesus hallelujah there are miracles happening make your way to the front now we'll give you room to testify stand here all the people that are coming out for miracles just stand here right now there are miracles that are happening i see someone like your nose it's like there is an irritation in your nose while we were praying you felt like there was fire on it and now it's lifted now it's lifted completely it's gone right now right now right now i'm seeing someone severe peptic ulcer it hooks you hooks you very seriously as we started praying it just disappeared who is that make your way to the front right now right now right now i see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die not a vision a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if i don't call anybody's case i'm going to pray for the sick i'm calling miracles cases that have happened help me um aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies god is giving people miracles miracles right now miracles right now miracles are happening right now i'm seeing somebody listen there is a growth you came here with the growth at the back of your neck check it now it has disappeared check it now now and make your way to the front put your hand there and check it you will find out that that growth is gone completely i'm seeing two holes two holes of a left teeth being healed right now check it you won't find the hole again two holes Two holes of your teeth check it right now and make your way to the front my goodness god is doing miracles in this place there are miracles that are happening miracles that are happening i saw this same case in kaduna this morning now i'm seeing four people four people there is one guy and three ladies you have pile pile for one of the ladies when you go to ease yourself it's as if you are giving birth blood comes out go and check yourself now you find out that that pile is gone gone back to the devil go and check it please please we are not playing games don't sit back confirm your miracle and seal it i know there is a guy i saw a guy pile severe pile hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady tears just start coming out of your eyes without any you are not crying but it just starts coming out it's very embarrassing it starts coming out right now the lord is healing you wherever you are confirm it and make your way to the front right now confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now right now confirm it and make your way to the front we'll give all of them room to testify god is healing people right now I'm seeing someone with this finger. Look at me. This finger. This very finger. That's what the Lord is showing me. There is a miracle happening on that finger. This very one. I don't know if it broke or something happened to it. But there is a miracle happening to that finger right now. Right now. I'm hearing a name. Gabriel. 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 Who is Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. The Lord is bringing a, a miracle for Gabriel. Gabriel. I've been fighting this name, but let me bring it out. I'm hearing a name, Asabe. I don't know if he's a woman or somebody in a family. Asabe. Asabe. I'm hearing that name. Who is Asabe? Please confirm. Make sure you confirm it. Let's not huh you are asabe uh but i'm seeing another person again oh eh? this you are asabe. please stand here 
Miracles everywhere. Come, tell us. Very quickly, come, come. Please help us. Give Aaron. Let's, let's coordinate them. Okay, come, sir. Let's just listen to this. Give them the mic, Lawrence. Just testify. Tell us, look at the crowd, straight to the point. What happened to you? What is the miracle? Praise the Lord. I am the girl whom the man of God prophesied. I have an irritation in my nose since 2012. 2012. Yes. And now what happened? Every day, once I put my hand, I, I always notice blood coming out. But now, I felt something drop out of my nose. That devil leaves you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. Give Jesus praise. God is doing miracles here. All kinds of miracles are happening in this place. Please, the next people, let's have them come very quickly. Just turn and let's testify. Don't look at me, look at the crowd. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I have this bonus. While we are talking, there is a lady who will come strongly under the anointing outside. Please pick that lady and bring her. As we are talking, the power of God is, in fact, two ladies, two ladies outside, mightily by the anointing. Please pick them and bring them. Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. On my left thigh, I have this burning sensation. I don't even know what caused, but I know that once it starts, it burns me as if I'm sitting on fire. Okay. But now it's gone. And since last hearing this voice saying I will die, even when I was coming last week, I had this fear that I was going to... But right now, it's gone. completely gone. Give Jesus praise. God bless you. Yes, please. Check yourself. If you see a miracle, you can come out. We are going to pray for the sick, but we want to take testimonies. We'll give you an opportunity to tell us what God is doing. Mama, please stand up. Please don't let Mama sit down for God's sake. Give her a chair. Mama should not be kneeling down. Praise the yes, Lord. Yes, please. Sometimes I normally feel pains in my chest. Sometimes I normally feel pains in my chest, but now I feel very... Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Any pain? Any pain? Is there any pain? Is there any pain? Give Jesus praise. Yes, please. Praise God. While he was preaching, I was having peptic ulcer. So peptic I ulcer. Out, but while we started praying, it left me. And There's I'm one more outside. Go and carry her. It left me immediately. Now I'm not feeling it again. No pain again. Give Jesus praise. Yes, ma'am. Praise the, praise the Lord. I used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002. But, um... When I went to see the doctor, they said it was pneumonia. It's, sometimes I can't breathe. Pneumonia. The pastor said I should, we should shout Jesus. I can't breathe. I can't shout too much. But the moment I shout Jesus, I fell on the floor. Everything just left you. No pain again. Praise the Let Lord. Let me pray for you. It never returns to you. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. I don't know what the eye problem is, but it's living right now. Please confirm yourself. Eye problem. Check it. Check it. We are not playing games, please. Check it. Check it. Eye problems. I'm seeing a miracle happening right now. Eye problem. Confirm it and come out right now. I'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case. At least 10, like the lower abdominal region right here. You've been having se severe pain. It's like something pulls you there. Check it right now. You'll find out that you receive a miracle. At least 10 people. Please make your way to the front at least 10 people check it right now god is doing a miracle don't sit back inside and outside lower abdominal region lower abdominal region that miracle is happening right now right now right now at least 10 people 10 people with that pain as soon as you check it make your way to the front celebrate jesus god is healing them they are coming they are coming all of you you can come and stand here the moment you receive a miracle please stand here they'll confirm you at least 10 ladies right at this lower abdominal region hallelujah i'm seeing a gentleman you came here with a throat condition in fact um let me just describe to you they are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat it's like there is an elongation some i'm seeing them saying they want to use is it knife or something and cut something that uh, an elongation who is that person the lord is healing you right now right now you can't swallow things you always feel like it's like bone but it's like there is something on your throat almost perpetually right now check it check it check it completely 
the power of God is coming upon you there is a lady God is healing your mother but the power of God will come upon you as a witness to that Lord where is that lady right now where is that lady identify her oh God by the power of God right now right now right now please bring the lady out God is healing her mother right at home and God is using what is happening as as a point of contact as a point of contact I'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump I'm seeing one on the left left side please check it check it when you receive a miracle testimony is one way to seal it and keep it the Lord is showing me three ladies your hair falls every time you go to comb your hair you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair that is removing this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly please loud and straight to the point Praise the Lord. help I us sound please can you help us with this mic i used to have this pen down my stomach here but now i'm not feeling completely okay. gone yes are you sure yes. how long has it been Feel come on koinonia let's not get too used to miracles in this place hallelujah it never returns to you in the name of jesus christ the next person please my goodness look at what god is doing god is giving people miracles go ahead my name is like i'm pregnant it's come like pain as in like i'm pregnant and i've been complaining that for months but today when the prayer was going on i felt relief and my stomach in fact open. as she was talking hold on the lord opened my eyes there is a lady your stomach is already swelling this is almost is even beginning to embarrass you it's not just like a stomach protruding you are feeling it very hard and stiff um, it's, you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid please check it right now God is giving you a miracle God is giving you a miracle God bless you, bless you quickly when they say we should shout praise the Lord, so I now shout the stomach used to pay me even before I come to Zaria but I can't feel it again Completely yes. give Jesus praise it never returns again, yes please praise the Lord um, recently I started having this eye pain when I'm walking, doing other things, one of the eyes get blank and I don't see again. But now, after the prayers, I feel one sharp pain and I saw this abdominal pain almost all the time. But it just left me immediately. Praise if Jesus prays, it never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. This abdominal pain starts two days ago. So, I came here and when I was praying, I just received total deliverance and complete deliverance please help them so that they don't fall on, on praise the lord the abdominal pain normally comes and go and when i was outside i was still feeling my stomach hooking such that i could not stand well i was bending and then when the man of god spoke i got up and stretched and to the glory completely of the lord, no pain again come on give jesus praise give jesus praise the lord mine is more of um creativity ideas that God is to give me every day when I'm in my quiet time and it's it happens that every time I try to push further I realize that there are a lot of setbacks distractions and uh, confusions that comes my way and right now, but what right happened? now when at the mention of the name Jesus I felt my body on fire I can't really understand what was going on. On fire, a restoration yes, of that creativity yes, comes, comes to you yes, in the sir. name of the Lord Jesus amen. Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I came here with a severe eye eating. At the shout of Jesus, everything just wiped out. Completely. Believe me, that name works. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Shika concerning pain. Pain. You went to the hospital. Yeah. What did they say is wrong with you? They, did, they couldn't see anything. They couldn't see anything. Yeah. Okay. And when you were praying, you prophesied that there is a uh, ten people here that 
that God is working on yes, their system. And, and now what has happened to you? The pain is gone. The pain is completely even gone. Give Jesus medical, praise. Even the medical report is in my room. The medical report is in your room. Yes. You go and check yourself and you find out. All of you that were under the anointing, when you get up, don't just go back to your seat. Check. You will find out that all kinds of things have happened. You are not just falling for nothing. Praise the Lord. Praise the, pra praise the Lord. I'm trusting God for a new set of dentition. My teeth are just... Go ahead. <laughs> the power of God is on her. Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people, and, um, it's okay. Um, there's okay. this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when um, you mentioned the case, I was not too sure if I was the one. But later, you specified by saying the, your left side of your breast. I noticed like it's swelling up and sometimes I very I feel like very, a swelling there. Yeah. yeah and I now feel, have you checked it? Yes. I, Is there I, anything I there? Okay, Completely gone. Come on, yeah. give Jesus praise. It never returns again in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the spirit of fear as in I do get scared a lot, but I now I'm free in the name the of The spirit of fear. Come. It never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, praise please. the Lord. I want to I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from child when, when I was when I was young. I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I I feel relieved. I just Completely. Want to thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know. Sometimes second of August, this very month, this is my middle finger. Help her. Fire is landing on people. I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, I got here. I announced. I I've saw been that shaking, baby, I've been finger. shaking it. I've been shaking it and no I'm pain now. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. The Lord is changing the story of your family. This Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress, Mama. If she's if she's out because she's sick, Mama Kizona Zah make her do Please, you people should not stress this old woman. If she should even when she's coming out, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her. Please. The Lord is, is wiping the tears in your family. You believe that? When a word comes like this, it comes to give you liberty. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I end this oppression in this family right now. It goes forever in the name of Jesus. Who has an elder brother? Who has an elder brother? Do, do you have an elder brother? Yes. What is he doing? He's a carpenter. He's a carpenter? Yes. The person I'm, I'm talking about didn't go to school, though. Is your brother? Yes. Where is he? He's in the village. He's in the village. God is going to lift him. What is this thing that I'm seeing them <laughs> laughing at him and they are saying it? It's not his fault that he didn't go to school. Even you, it's by the grace of God that you are here. It's not like maybe yes. it's that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that. It's the favor of God. Yes. But God, as a sign, go and tell him, call him after Koinonia. That the Lord said is going to connect him to a rich man. He should be faithful to that man. Amen. That man will bless him. Amen. Father, let there be breakthrough in this family. In the name of Jesus. Asabe. Gabriel. Oh, your name is Gabriel. Your name too is Gabriel, sir. Who is Titi Lyo? Titi Lyo. I'm hearing a name, Titi Lyo. Please, let's save time. Our time is gone. Um, we still have to pray for the sick. Titi Lyo. I'm hearing the name Titi Lyo. Titi Lyo. Who is working? Yes, sir. You're, you're working. You're both working. Okay. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing... The Lord is... Sir... It won't be too long you are leaving Gusau. 
we spoke, at least we spoke, that one is not word of knowledge, we, we spoke about it, but it won't be too long, the Lord is lifting you to another place, go and write it down, this will happen to you, it won't be too long, write it down, you will come back and testify before them, it's not a disadvantage, it's something that will bless you in no small way, because you have come with your heart open, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father I lay my hands, I pray, right now, that you bring your word to pass concerning his life, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hear breakthrough for you, sir. This is what I hear. The Lord is saying I should announce breakthrough to you. Father, I hold his hands and I announce breakthrough in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Your mother is sick. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past one year. Bleeding? You, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing? No, sir. You are just standing to agree yes, for her. Okay, no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Do you believe God will touch your mother? Where is she? At home. Where is home? Taraba. Taraba State. Yes, sir. You are from Taraba. Yes, sir. Lord, show mama mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As he touches you, he touches her. Please don't just come out at will. Ah, you are related to her? Your sister is Titi Lyon. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's in Kaduna. What's she doing? She's schooling at Kaduna. She's schooling. Okay, let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You? I'm a student, sir. Where? KPSS. Eh? Knowledge is power. Secondary school. Okay, knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Your sister is where? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Tell her, is she married? No, sir. Tell her marriage is coming for her. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Because she has been praying about this. Your mother, where's your mother? Your mother has been joining her to pray. Yes, your sir. mother even went to a man of God and they prayed about yes. this thing. Is yes, that sir. true? Your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God. He raised. Hallelujah. Now, please is the time to minister specially to sick people you know the nature of our programs here we will need a lot of time so if you are not sick if you are escorting somebody please just bring the person and go back and once they pray for you don't wait for another prayer one touch is okay some of you when they pray for you you refuse you still stand back please once they pray for you just check yourself and go back praise the lord and then don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that. If you came with somebody who is sick, now is the time to bring them out while we are praying. Please arrange them. Now is Mama's time. All, this, all our mothers, they can make their way now. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with the way for them. Clear the way for sick people. Those under the anointing, just, just carry them and keep them gently somewhere. hallelujah now let's save time while we are praying for the sick all of you begin to submit your prayer request please i permit you to put on your phone if you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests call them because what god is doing tonight is unusual call them and tell them there's fire upon this place they should submit their prayer request ushers please begin to go around those online those who are connecting with us through the internet 
They can also connect by faith as we trust God for miracles. Worship team, please get set. You'll be giving us powerful worship songs. We'll just pray for our elderly ones. Let the Lord touch them and then he will give us peace. Please and please, um, when we pray for you, you clear the way. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother. Awesome is your name. You do mighty, you do glory, you do glory, you are a faithful God. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. May God use you to wipe the tears of your parents. Listen, let me tell you any child, hear me, I'm saying this especially to we young people. Any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should pray for her children in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well done, sir. Please sit down. Your dad. Welcome, sir. Straight, straight to the point. His legs have swollen. Because it's been long I saw him. He's been, he doesn't breathe well. And at the same time, he's having problems with mama. None of his children look at him except me. The same problem that mama is having. Like, but it's just similar thing. We are eight. Oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Daddy, sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 25 years of witchcraft. This is witchcraft. This is not sickness. 25 years of wickedness and oppression. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be deliverance, oh God. Baba, I'm going to pray for you. Well, we are praying for you now. Jesus Christ is going to touch you. Father, let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, after today, check him and don't cry. Don't cry, eh? Clean your tears. Clean your tears. Baba, they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know. Since it's not something we can check, you are already walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will come here right now as I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe. We all came here because we trust Jesus Christ. And there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this. That as you are watching, something will come upon you. you do Thank you, Jesus. Things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do my God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're our God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faith. God, awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at a very awesome serious situation. Can you flash this, this baby? Look at, can you believe, listen, can you believe for God's sake that this baby, as beautiful as this child is, the brain is not developing. Look at this. 
problems. Who told you the brain is not developing? The doctor, and we've done CT scan. You've done CT scan. You have your evidence. They said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Oh, what male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How would you like to have a child? That do you know what it means for the brain not to develop? That child becomes like an imbecile forever. In the name that is above all names, we lay hands upon this child. We are not only praying that God will heal him, but God will use him. My God, I pray right now. Let the brain begin to develop. We cause the spirit that is responsible for this wickedness. Right now, in the name of Jesus. from village. I go a lecture. I will chant from village. Look at this. Mama went for election. They fired something upon her head. Now she's mad. Is she mad? Is she your talk now? Yes. You are mad. No, you are. You are not mad in the name of Jesus. Say I'm not mad. I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Whoever organized that charm on your head, it returns back to them sevenfold. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter. You are her daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? come do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you i'm looking at you don't feel embarrassed eh i'm looking at you but i'm seeing you smoking something eh tell me the truth don't tell me this is what death would have killed you you are smoking a, a what do they call this thing eh in jaham you go yes, sir. is that not true yes, sir. you are smoking the devil wants to kill you this is look at look at this Look at this. 
Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a whirlwind well on his head. You, you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding a go to it. Jesus came that you will be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ. Genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are, oh, you are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those, your friends. Yes, we cancel those relationships right now. Amen. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it, but I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law doth he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Forget about the wound. Lift it up. Be careful. You broke the hand. Oh, it can't lift. Oh, I see. No, no, no. If it can't lift, don't, don't harm yourself. I thought you broke your bone. That's why I was asking you to lift it. Father, let there be a miracle right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And anybody who smokes it, go in this place. If you know you smoke it, go or codeine altar. once i make the altar call just run and come and kneel down here because tonight is your night of salvation please don't play games with your destiny anything you smoke anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency the moment there's time for altar call please make your way here we love you but then the lord wants to touch you let's hurry up because our time is gone your name is out
right now at the same time an altar call is called an altar call will be going those who need jesus christ you are here right now inside and outside there are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies the ones that i spoke to now is the time you can come before the presence of god don't feel bad we're a family and any other person there are those who are saying lord i'm tired of the way my life is I need a new beginning. As we pray, please come and wait here. Join this lady very quickly. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. Please, let's save time. Celebrate them as they come, inside and outside. God bless you. A new beginning. God is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. You are saying, Lord Jesus, I make up my mind to walk with you. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? God is saving sinners keep coming from outside please clear the way for them if they are coming salvation is a very serious issue clear the way for them so that they'll come don't let any devil stop you you are welcome i know we're out of time but please make your way to the front right now make your way to the front we love you no man condemns you he can give you a new beginning hallelujah hallelujah I salute every one of you here I don't care what you have done or what you have not done I want you to know that his majesty can give you a new beginning hallelujah lift your right hand and say after me say Lord Jesus I believe in you I believe you died and rose again I'm tired of the way my life is I surrender everything to you seriously and completely from this night take over my life be my Lord and Savior let your life come upon me I break free from habits from sins and everything that destroys my life from today I'm a child of God I am saved in the name of Jesus let me pray for you Lord I thank you for these ones unashamedly they have come before you preserve them by your power in the name of the Lord Jesus I pray that you will use them mightily in the name of Jesus I break the power of sin over your life you will never return especially for those of you who are victims of addictions and smoking you will never return to it again in the name of Jesus Christ that power is broken from off your life in the name of Jesus Christ now I want you to follow a gentleman they will have your details and then on Tuesday unfailingly please be around um, meet with the prayer department and um, will fire you up you'll be with them for at least a month they will guide you the gentleman is waving his hand salute them everybody congratulate them stretch your hands towards a prayer request in one minute please everybody rise we're rounding up stretch your hands towards a prayer request your request is here begin to speak prophesy prophesy over it in the name of jesus christ prophesy over it prophesy over it Lord unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come are you praying 
Lord do miracles every spirit that is responsible for the troubles that are written here we judge that spirit every spirit every covenant every influence every spirit responsible for barrenness here yeah. responsible for any setback in the name of jesus we challenge it by the blood of jesus we challenge it by the blood of jesus we challenge it by the blood of jesus we challenge it lord let your people have testimonies in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ we declare that every request every request that is presented here is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ and you will stand to testify before the people of god in the name of jesus christ i pray now lift your hands and receive the prophecy i decree and i declare over you every confusion in your life every cry for direction right now in the name of jesus may you receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life every area of confusion i arrest it right now you will hear a voice from behind telling you this is the way in the name of jesus christ for those who are students i pray for your academics the exams that are about to come your best result in your various institutions this exam is what will produce it in the name of the lord jesus christ may you record five points in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for every family represented here whatever has stagnated your family by this anointing i declare move forward move forward move forward in the name of jesus christ everything that has covered your glory so that the glory of the lord upon your life will not be seen in the name of jesus we tear that veil off we tear that veil off by the power of the holy spirit whoever needs to help you before next miracle service i call them forth into your life mysterious help us mysterious help us in the name of jesus christ i pray for you fresh grace for prayer fresh anointing for prayer every lack of passion for the things of god i kill it right now in the name of jesus every carnality and flesh and wordlessness and prayerlessness that is eating up your life it dies a natural death here tonight in the name of jesus christ i pray for you with these hands that are lifted go and begin to produce results go and heal the sick go and open doors for the oppressed in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for families that are trusting god for miracle marriages we release those marriages right now i pray for families that are trusting god for miracle jobs we release those jobs right now please believe me as i pray we release those jobs right now in the name of the lord jesus christ anyone here who the devil is eyeing for death that the devil has said you will not see the end of this year in the name of jesus we lift up that embargo we lift up that embargo favor like you have never seen receive it right now open doors like you have never seen receive it right now breakthroughs like you have never seen receive it right now i speak life to every dying thing in your life in the name of jesus christ whoever has rejected you may they look for you in the name of jesus christ i command prophetic dreams mysterious spiritual experiences may god show you the solution to your problems in dreams and visions 
whoever is behind the failure of your life we command judgment upon them in the name of the lord jesus christ i prophesy unto you access to the mysteries of the kingdom access to deep revelation access to insight in the spirit whenever they are looking for men to favor may they find you may they find you in the name of jesus you are blessed in the city and blessed in the country you are blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in every tongue that rises up against you will be judged in the name of jesus i declare that the seal of the blood is upon you you have no covenant with failure you have no covenant with death may god use you mightily 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 i declare may the mantle of honor come upon your life that mantle that makes men honor you mysteriously i release it upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus the mantle of honor i pray for you extraordinary intelligence levels of mental acumen in the name of the lord jesus christ extraordinary intelligence i cast out the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death i rebuke it from your life in jesus name and every depression upon your spirit i release you from it right now every voice that has told you you will not succeed we cancel that voice right now in the name of jesus finally i pray for you passion for the things of god hunger for intimacy with the holy spirit grace for fasting and prayer genuine fasting and prayer access to spiritual power activations of the gifts of the spirit visions and and the move of the spirit upon your life in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise in the name of jesus all those worshiping with us for the first time please make your way to the front right now very quickly we're really out of time we have two minutes and we're out please celebrate all those who are worshiping with us some have come from far some from near different states please come we have a prayer and a blessing for you celebrate them koinonia keep clapping they are coming may god bless all of you who have invited them their lives will never be the same in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for all of you who have come here this is koinonia god bless you for being here we're here every fridays is a meeting that is put together by eternity network international you're welcome to fellowship and worship with us again and again and your life will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ stretch your hands towards them saints of god and let's bless them we release the blessing upon this house over your life no keep standing don't worry you can stand i prophesy to you in the name of jesus you will leave this place and return with dramatic testimonies whatever you came here with is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus christ i see two of you standing here there's miracle marriage coming for two ladies here specifically i'm seeing two ladies that's the reason why you came specifically i prophesied miracle marriage for you in the name of jesus christ for one of you the person you are going to marry is a banker and he will come to you before october your wedding will happen before december 31st in the name of the lord jesus christ we decree and declare over your life you will carry an unusual unction and everyone who sees you will know that you have come before the presence of god there is someone here you are standing you are going to have like one week of prophetic encounter stretch one week every night repeatedly you're going to have different people come to teach you certain things and on the sixth night you're going to have an impartation it's like a hand that will be laid upon you it's not demonic in the name of the lord jesus christ we bless you return with evidences return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ 
Thank you so much for coming. We love you and we honor you. Please follow the gentleman waving his hands. They'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and then you'll have a few details. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.